Hello, welcome to this training on iSolve from Simcoe HCM. Today we're going to be talking about punching in and out as an employee. You may or may not know, but there are two versions of the iSolve website. There's the one that looks like this with the colorful banner at the top, and this is called the Adaptive Employee Experience or AEE. There's also the ESS or Classic View, which I'll show you in just a moment how to punch. So when you log in and you get to this screen, you're simply going to click this blue button at the top left. And depending on the services your company subscribes to, <clears throat> you may see Quick Punch, Detail Punch, or Missing Punch. In this, we're going to talk if we click quick punch, that would punch us uh, either in or out, depending on what our previous punch was. A detail punch, will be you'll be able to give a bit more information, and I'll show you a missing punch in the near future as well. So for a detail punch, we are going to come to this screen, and you can see that there is a type and a mode. You may, again, depending on your company, have labor groups that will be discussed more in detail with you specifically. So for this, I'm going to punch a normal in punch. When I click save, I can click I'm done. Now, if I go back to my time card, you can see that there's a line and when I click on it, there's an in punch for 424. Uh, if you uh, wanted, if you had any notes or your manager had anything to tell you, you could click this arrow to put more. Uh, now, when you're at home, if you forgot to punch in in the morning, you could simply click this button again and click missing punch. And what you would do is the date and time of that missing punch, you would uh, fill that in. So let's say yesterday, we forgot to punch out at five o'clock PM. It's a normal, because a normal is an in or out punch beginning or end of the day, and we forgot to punch out. So now when I click save, if I go back to my time card again, that has to be approved, so it's not showing. So that's why you'll only see the one that you do successfully. Uh, and then again, a quick punch, you just click that button and it's gonna know is it an in or an out punch, and then you'll quick click punch. If you wanted to punch in or out on Classic View, what you would do is at the top right, you would click your name and then click this Classic View. It'll ask, you know, do you want to move? So we're going to click Switch and it'll look different. Along the left is the menu bar instead of in the middle of the screen. And so I'm just going to come to this clock. And again, I have the same three options. I click detailed punch. Again, gives me a date, a time, a type, and either auto, which will go opposite of your previous punch, in or out. Since I punched in at 424, I'll punch out at 427, click save. And then if again, if I wanna go see my time card, I can see in this view, I did have a pending punch for last night and I have a completed punch here. Uh, this is how you punch in and out using adaptive and classic view. Thank you.